Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we are going to talk about the idea of Games Workshop taking one of the established chapters, or legions, and turning them traitor. And this is largely down to, well, it's largely down to the, the weird, like, the lion box rumours and the Dark Angel stuff that we've heard about recently, and something that has come out of that is the possibility of the Dark Angels fighting a loyalist side. I mean, this is all based on a rumour, of course, so I say the possibility of, it could turn out to be not true at all. But it does lend itself to an interesting question, which is, how would a Games Workshop handle taking a chapter and turning that chapter, well, over to Chaos, or at least turning them to Renegade? Maybe not full Chaos Corruption, but seceding from the Imperium or something of that nature. Because, to be honest, it's one of those things that is very difficult to work out how they do without upsetting a lot of people. It's one of the things that makes me suspicious about that rumour, about the idea of the Dark Angels actually fighting an Imperium foe. Yeah, there's been scuffles and minor issues in the past, but that kind of thing suggests that there's going to be some sort of larger conflict, or there's going to be some sort of more serious or permanent issue with that chapter. And we have heard for ages and ages and ages, and there's been no evidence of this so far, but way back when 8th first started, when we started seeing the primary stuff, there was talk of one chapter turning traitor, and one chapter turning back to the Imperium. So, you know, someone who'd already fallen coming back into the fold, and someone who's been an established part of the Imperium going away, actually turning their back on the Imperium as a whole. The thing is, with both of those things, there is a major and fairly serious issue with doing that. When it comes to taking a Chaos chapter, or a Chaos Warband, or a Chaos Legion, and having them suddenly become Loyalist again, you kind of have to cope with the idea of lots of people who play that chapter, or that Legion, becoming very unhappy. You are, after all, taking something that They've been playing based on the knowledge that that chapter or legion is entirely what they thought it was. That they are they are dedicated to chaos. That when they started that army, it was on the basis of them wanting a chaos force and liking that particular, that particular group more than any other. And it's the same thing with chapters that people pick up for, for playing loyalist. I mean, you don't pick up Imperial Fist because you want... A Chaos Warband because Imperial Fists aren't a Chaos Warband. You pick up Imperial Fists because you want a loyal chapter. And so that's the first hurdle when it comes to talking about this kind of thing. When it comes to actually taking an established chapter or an established Warband and going, actually, they are going to do the complete opposite of what you think they do. Or the complete opposite of what they have been doing for the entire time. I mean, for all of the jokes and all of the memes about Dark Angels actually being traitor... There is, to be honest, not as much to that in actual background as there are jokes about it. The Dark Angels may have some ridiculously deep and dark secrets, but they are not anti-Imperium. They're not, not like they're not not loyalists. They are. They fight for the Imperium. They fight for the Emperor. And yes, they have managed to successfully keep the fact that a significant chunk of their legion turned traitor secret, but they have kept it secret. And it's not like they've gone out of their way to join those who have turned traitor, because they could turn traitor if they want to. Instead, they hunt them down and destroy them wherever they possibly can. Sometimes to the detriment of the overall like peace and prosperity of whatever they're doing, or ignoring objectives that they shouldn't, but it's all down to that dedication to keeping that dark side of their legion secret. They're not doing it for shits and giggles. It would be a lot easier for them to not have to deal with that. For them to say, oh, there's a bunch of these guys who've turned traitor and try and deal with the consequences, but they don't do that. Instead, they are determined to maintain their loyalty, and they're determined to maintain their part in the Imperium to the extent that they have entire hierarchies based entirely on who knows about the fact that a bunch of them turned traitor and are now fallen. For them to turn traitor would be a really bizarre and ridiculous shift in what they've been doing the entire time. It would be a case of not just not just kind of turning their existing law on its head, but also making it so that all of their work up until this point has been entirely for nothing. And that's on top of the fact that there are 
however many people who play Dark Angels who would immediately go, what the fuck is this? I'm not having it. That's not on. It's a really, like, it's a tricky thing to do, and it's an interesting thing to think about, because if you if you go half measure, for instance, say there is a, a second event where, like, another bunch of Dark Angels turn traitor, another load become fallen, the chapter is divided in two, again, half the chapter just takes off, secedes from the Imperium, that would be interesting. It would allow people to keep their loyal Dark Angels if they want to, and those who wanted to split would be able to, because there will be some who would kind of embrace it and just go, oh, actually, that's, that's really cool, I like that, I like that, my chapter has actually had some sort of development, they've had a change, they've had a shift, that's cool. But then, does that not feel a little bit trying to please everyone? I mean, if you're going to do this, if you're going to take a chapter, or take a warband, and flip them so they're on the opposite side to what they were, do you go all in? Do you make it a blanket thing and say, I mean, you can claim that they're loyalists if you like, but no one's going to believe you, or do you do you try and please everyone? Where, you know, there is this huge event that splits whatever group it is in half, and half of them stay where they are, half of them go. You can take your pick as to which you're going for. Would that be as satisfying? Would it be a, like narratively as interesting? I mean, in fairness, it might do. I mean, the idea of an entire like an entire chapter just turning traitor overnight when they've had. De- like I was just going to say decades, thousands of years of loyalty, that would be a bit weird, really. On the other hand, there are plenty of chapters that that's happened to, maybe not with quite the same kind of storied or well-documented past as the Dark Angels, but still there are plenty of chapters that have fallen in their entirety to chaos. But then again, none of those were established chapters that go back to the time of the Legions. None of those were an original, like an original legion taking one of the first, taking like, well, like Imperial Fist or Dark Angels or whatever, and, and just blanket statementing now, not during the Horus Heresy, now in the current 40k timeline, all of these are now traitor. It would shake things up and it would be a, a huge shift in the dynamic of the Imperium and the story as a whole. But there's so much established lore. There's so much established history. There is so much that they have done to maintain their loyalty that that would feel like a very weird change. It would feel like a very sweeping change. It would... I don't know if it would work, is is what it comes down to. And I suppose it's a similar thing when you think about the idea of one side having someone who turns traitor and one side you know, turning loyalist again, returning to the Imperium. It sounds good in theory, but in practice, how would that work? A warband or legion or chapter that has fought against the Imperium, that has been involved in numerous raids, that has sacked planets in the name of Chaos, going back and saying, hey, we want to fight for you again. I mean, how well do you think that would go? It wouldn't be great, let's be totally honest. It's not like they would be welcomed back with open arms. It's not as though, oh, all of that, don't worry about it. It's fine, it happens. No, they'd be exterminated immediately. The Inquisition would go straight after them. Any chapter of Space Marines in, like, a hundred bajillion mile radius would be like, oh no, fuck this, we're going to murder them. Because you can't trust traitors, you can't trust people to just come back. Once you're corrupted by the warp, you are corrupted by the warp. How can you possibly return to the Imperium and claim to serve the Imperium's interest? It sounds good. A legion or a chapter, seeing the light, Ditching the Chaos Gods. No, we're all about the Imperium again now. But in practice, again, how do you pull that off? How do you have it so that that actually happens? The Imperium wouldn't allow it. Those in charge would not allow it. There are any number of chapter masters and chapters who would look at that and immediately discount anything that that particular group says because, well, they're servants of Chaos. You don't allow them back in. They will be executed if they come peacefully, or they will be exterminated if they decide to resist. Again, it'd be a really fun story element. It'd be a really interesting thing to happen to actually have, especially if it was one of the one of the original legions actually turning back towards the emperor. It would be an an interesting story. It'd be really fun narratively, but how would it work? And those people who play that legion, how would it work for them? Are they playing that group before they turn back? Like maybe playing Dark Angels before they fell, as opposed to what they're doing now if they were to be turned traitor? 
how would that work in the grand scheme of like the overall story? Would people even be happy about that? I mean, if you were playing Iron Warriors and then suddenly the Iron Warriors, oh, by the way, they're loyalists now, you're not going to sit there and go, oh, great, I was hoping to play a loyalist chapter. That's exactly what I was after. No, you picked them because they were chaos. That's how that works. It's it's an interesting thing to think about because it's one of those things that comes up again and again. The idea of one side turning traitor, one side turning loyalist is something that I've seen banded about for I don't know how long now, a long, long time. And this, this like the lion dark angel's box has only brought that back up. It's only made me think about that more. And the more I think about it, the more it's a case of how would you implement that? How would you make that a successful change? How would you do that in such a way that people were not just happy about it, but enthusiastic and and actually content to accept that change? I don't know how you do it. That's that's the thing that's getting me. I don't know how you would successfully pull that off because it is such a huge change, such a sweeping change that would fly in the face of however many years' worth of lore and backstory and would also have a serious effect in terms of the people actually playing whatever group that is. Like, that's not why they picked it. So how would you convince them that this is a good thing, this is a good change, and that actually it's good for them? I don't know if you could. But the only way that I can think that would make that work is if it was a a like 50-50 thing, if it was a split, whereby you still had like a number of loyalists that refused to turn against the Emperor you still had a number of traitors that refused to turn back to the emperor that the forces were split either 50 50 or some other you know some other percentage whereby people could carry on playing what they wanted to play and still be seen as loyalist or traitor depending on where they fall in that divide but still allowing that narrative change to take place that's the only way i think it could work but would it be as satisfying i don't know that it would it's it would be ridiculously tricky to pull off, and that's why I'm interested because it's come up a few times, and now we have this like this weird box room up with the Dark Angels potentially fighting loyalists, and it's like, okay, out of the two loyalist sides of that box, who is going to turn out to be traitor? Is it just going to be a misunderstanding that swept under the rug because that would then be quite a boring box? Let's be honest, it would have no impact really on anything. And if it's more significant than that, how do you do that without pissing a bunch of people off? How do you do that without having to please everybody in some way because you're making such a drastic change? If you have any ideas, if you've been thinking about this, if you've got any clues to how it could be pulled off in a satisfactory and interesting fashion, then by all means, let me know what you think in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things, Patreon, video, subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like, don't click if you don't want to, and I will see you for the next one. Toodaloo.